Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fanciers. If you are following our channel on Instagram, you will be knowing that I was using this MIUI 12 beta for quite some time. I have to thank Civic Wonder SB4 who have helped me to get to know about this build and admin of ASUS Live L1 Indonesia group. So let's we take an in-depth look on latest MIUI 12 beta Chinese GSI in the series of in-depth look episode number 35. This is the latest MIUI 12 beta, it's not worldwide, it's Chinese variant, so we won't get the Google services and Play Store. But I managed to install G apps by using BitG apps. It's currently running on Android 9 Pi. I have to mention it in first place that it is not a stable build, at least for this device. So I don't recommend anyone to try this build. I will tell you why. First, it's not global build. It's port from some device to Redmi Note 5 Pro. Also, I'm facing some issue with the brightness glitches. The dev provided the light fix patch. When I try to install it, it was boot loop. That's not alone. The call getting disconnected after a few minutes. Sometimes the device is automatically getting turned off. Some of the features won't work and not suitable for daily usage. Crystal clear? Well, then why I am making this video? It is just to introduce or show you that how things are working in the low-end devices and how MIUI has been optimized in the past 10 years. Since you can find tons of video about explaining MIUI 12, its feature and trolling its look of iOS, that's a part. The first thing to mention is the performance. In my build, it doesn't have the fancy live wallpaper. I like the performance and the app management. Sometimes it's even better than the official builds of the device. It's so smooth while switching between apps. The animations are so cool. The UI, it's not clean but looks detailed and animated. I really like those battery animations, storage animation and the volume control toggles. Those are really cool. And yeah, the right swipe control center and left side notification panel is little odd for stock Android users but you will get used to it. The dark mode, it's not like any other dark modes, it's actually dark mode where it forces to do the dark panel for the apps which doesn't even support the dark mode. I like this lot. The feature, well I'm not going to explain but just mentioning that the focus mode and dedicated gaming mode, battery saver options, security features like restricting or providing the fake accesses, those are really helpful. Inbuilt network indicators, themes, gestures, lot of things are going with this. Fifth, the compactability. The camera is working, not the default one, but the Google Camera Go. I have installed this on top of the Pi vendor. It's AB partition, boots with Permisor version 5 along with the Decrypt Pi patch. No need to install Volti patch as it is working inbuilt. Battery performance also not bad, giving like or better than the Android 10 beta, but sometimes the device getting warm. I also tried some apps like Google Pay, Paytm, YouTube, Instagram. They are working fine. Google Pay works after installing Muggies and enabling the config props. Wi-Fi is working but not hotspot. It shows it's turned on but it can't be found in other devices. Well, the conclusion. As I mentioned, it is not stable and I don't recommend you to install. And also, I can't restrict anyone not to try it. You can try, I have left the link in the description. Also, I will make a video on how to install this one. So, that's going to be good. Volti works, but call cuts after a few minutes. Battery and the performance are good, but device turns off automatically. Apps are running fine, but restricted Google services. Also, you can't enable ADB debugging as you can't sign into MI account. Well. I will just conclude here. Thanks for watching. I really like this experience of MIUI 12 and I hope I shared it clearly. Again, thanks for watching. Thank you for all your support. Code Moto.